The Anuradhapura period was a period in the history of Sri Lanka of the Anuradhapura kingdom from 377 BC to 1017 AD. The period begins when Pandukabhaya, king of Upatisa Nuwara moved the administration to Anuradhapura, becoming the kingdom's first monarch. Anuradhapura is heralded as an ancient cosmopolitan citadel with diverse populations. Political history Successions <inaudible> 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 Pandukabhaya 437 to 367 BC, king of Upadisa Nuwara and the first monarch of the Anuradhapura kingdom and sixth over all of the island of Sri Lanka since the arrival of the Vijaya. He reigned from 437 BC to 367 BC. According to many historians and philosophers, he is the first truly Sri Lankan king since the Vijayan invasion, and also the king who ended the conflict between the Sinha clan and local community, reorganizing the populace. Elalan (205–161 BC), a Tamil king with Chola origins, who ruled Pht Radha, i.e. Sri Lanka north of the Mahaveli, after killing King Asela. During Elalan's time, Kalani Tissa was a sub-king of Maya Radha (southwest) and Kavan Tissa was a regional sub-king of Ruhuna (southeast). Kavan Tissa built Tissa Maha Vihara, Diavapi tank, and many shrines in Saruvila. Dudagamunu (161–137 BC), eldest son of King Kavan Tissa, who was a young man 25 years of age, defeated the South Indian Tamil invader Alara over 64 years of age in single combat, described in the Mahavamsa. Dudagamunu is depicted as a Sinhala, Asoka. The Ruwanwelasaya, built by this king, is a dagaba of pyramid-like proportions. It was an engineering marvel. Pulahada or Pulahatha, deposed by Bahia, was deposed by Panaya Mara, deposed by Palaya Mara, murdered by Dathia 88 BC, deposed by Valagumba, ending Tamil rule. Valagumba I 89 BC, restored the Dudagamunu dynasty. The Mahavihara Theravada, Abhyagiri pro -Mahayana doctrinal disputes arose at this time. The Tripitaka was written in Pali at Aluvahara, Matale. Koranaga Mahanaga 63-51 BC, poisoned by his consort Anula. Queen Anula 48-44 BC, widow of Koranaga and Kuta Tissa, was the first queen of Lanka. She had many lovers who were poisoned by her. She was finally killed by, Kutakana Tissa. Vasaba 67-111 AD Valapuram gold plate, he fortified Anuradhapura and built eleven tanks, many edicts. Gajabahu I invaded the Chola kingdom and brought back captives. He recovered the tooth relic of the Buddha. Mahasena the Theravada Maha Vihara was persecuted and Mahayana surfaced. Later the king returned to the Maha Vihara. Pandu 429, first of seven Pandian rulers, ending with Pythia, 455, Dadasena 459-477, his uncle, Mahanama wrote the Mahavamsa, he built Kalaweva. His son Kashyapa 477-495, built the famous Sigiriya rock palace. Some 700 rock graffiti give a glimpse of ancient Sinhala. Topic. Arrival of Buddhism and the Sacred Tooth Relic Devanampiya Tissa 250-210 BC, a Sinhalese king of the Maurya clan. His links with Emperor Asoka led to the introduction of Buddhism by Mahinda son of Asoka in 247 BC. Sangamitta, sister of Mahinda, brought a Bodhi sapling via Jambakola. Sangamitta's son Samanera Sumana also accompanied them to spread Buddhism. Following the Third Buddhist Council, upon the recommendation of Magaliputta Tissa, Ashoka's spiritual teacher, they were also accompanied by a lay disciple Bankaka, who was a maternal grandson of Mahinda's aunt. There is no evidence in the history of King Ashoka about his having had a son by the name of Mahinda or by any other name or a daughter by the name of Sangamitta or by any other name. This king's reign was crucial to Theravada Buddhism, and for Sri Lanka. <laughs> Lambakana 
Manavama seized the throne with Pallava help. Manavama introduced Pallava patronage for three centuries. By the 9th century, with the Pandyan ascendancy in southern India, Anuradhapura was sacked. However, the Sinhalese invaded Pandya using a rival prince, and Madurai itself was sacked. Mahinda v. was the last Sinhala monarch of Anuradhapura. He fled to Ruhuna, where, in 1017, the Chola took him to prison and he died in India. Demise In 993, the Chola Emperor Rajaraja I invaded Sri Lanka, forcing the then Sri Lankan ruler Mahinda V to flee to the southern part of the country. The Mahavamsa describes the rule of Mahinda V as weak, and the country was suffering from poverty by this time. It further mentions that his army rose against him due to lack of wages. Taking advantage of this situation, Rajendra I son of Rajaraja I, launched a large invasion in 1017. Mahinda V was captured and taken to India, and the Cholas sacked the city of Anuradhapura. They moved the capital to Palanarua and subsequent Sri Lankan rulers who came into power after the Chola reign continued to use Palanarua as the capital, thus ending the Anuradhapura kingdom. <laughs> Demographics Arrival of Tamils Potsherds with early Tamil writing from the 5th century BC have been found from the north in Punakari, Jaffna to the south in Tissamaharama. They bore several inscriptions, including a clan name Vila, a name related to Valir from ancient Tamil country. Epigraphic evidence shows people identifying themselves as Damelas or Damedas the Indo-Aryan Prakrit word for Tamil people in Anuradhapura, the capital city of Rajarata the Middle Kingdom, and other areas of Sri Lanka as early as the 2nd century BC. Excavations in the area of Tissamaharama in southern Sri Lanka have unearthed locally issued coins, produced between the 2nd century BC and the 2nd century CE, some of which carry local Tamil personal names written in early Tamil characters, which suggest that Tamils were present and actively involved in trade along the southern coast of Sri Lanka by the late classical period. Other ancient inscriptions from the period reference a Tamil merchant, the Tamil householder residing in Alubarata, and a Tamil sailor named Karava. Two of the five ancient inscriptions referring to the Damedas Tamils are in Peria Pulyakulam in the Vavaniya district, one is in Saruvavila district in Trincomali district, one is in Kuduval in Amparai district and one is in Anuradhapura. Mention is made in literary sources of Tamil rulers bringing horses to the island in water craft in the 2nd century BCE, most likely arriving at Kaduramalai. Historical records establish that Tamil kingdoms in modern India were closely involved in the island's affairs from about the 2nd century BC. Topic: <laughs> Technology. The irrigation works in ancient Sri Lanka dated from about 300 BC during the reign of King Pandukabhaya and under continuous development for the next thousand years, were one of the most complex irrigation systems of the ancient world. In addition to underground canals, the Sinhalese were the first to build completely artificial reservoirs and dams to store water. The system was extensively restored and further extended during the reign of King Parakramabahu. Monarchs The House of Vijaya, the Five Dravidians, House of Lambakana I, the Six Dravidians, House of Maurya and the House of Lambakana II produced 122 monarchs who ruled during this period. Timeline Events 377 BC, the Anuradhapura kingdom is founded by Pandukabhaya. In popular culture Aloko Udapati, 2012 Sinhala historical film Maharaja Gamunu, 2015 Sinhala historical film 
Abba, 2008 Sinhala historical film Mahandagamanaya, 2011 Sinhala historical film Siri Dalata Gamanaya, 2012 Sinhala historical film The God King, 1974 Sinhala historical film See also Architecture of ancient Sri Lanka Sinhala Kingdom List of Sinhalese monarchs <laughs>